and worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning we're standing on the many promises that God has made available for Hallelujah. us people. Praise God, praise God. I don't know about you this morning, but as I sing, I realize and I do understand, hallelujah, that God has given to us many promises. Hallelujah. And he is not slack concerning his promises. Hallelujah, hallelujah but he's faithful. Hallelujah. So let's glorify him. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Let us stand for the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Praise God. We honor the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 29. 26. And we are going to read from verse 1 to the end. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can you take out your Bibles? We're going to read. Hallelujah. It's the written word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. And it shall be when thou art come in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance and possesses it and dwellest therein that thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the earth which thou shalt bring of thy land that the Lord thy God giveth thee and shall put it in I profess this day unto the Lord thy God that I am come unto the country which the Lord swear unto our fathers for to give us. And the priest shall take the basket out of thine hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord thy God. And thou shalt speak and say before the Lord thy God, a Syrian ready to perish was my father. And he went down into Egypt and sojourned there with a few and became there a nation, great, mighty, and populous. And the Egyptians evil entreated us and afflicted us and laid upon us hard bondage. And when we cried unto the Lord God of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction, and on our labor, and on our oppression. And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and with an outstretched arm, and with great terribleness, and with signs, and with wonders. And he hath brought us unto this place, and hath given us this land, even a land that floweth with milk and honey. And now, behold, I have brought the first fruit of the land, which thou, O Lord, hast given me, and thou hast set it before the Lord thy God, and worship before the Lord thy God. And thou shalt rejoice in every good thing which the Lord thy God hath given unto thee, and unto thine house, and thou and the Levite and the strangers that is among you, when thou hast made an end of tithing and all the tithes of thine increase, the third year which the Lord, which is the year of tithing, and has given it to the Levite, the stranger, the fatherless, the widow, and they may eat that they may eat within thy gates and be filled. Then thou shalt say before the Lord thy God, I have brought away the hallowed thing out of mine house, 
and have given them unto the Levites and unto the strangers and to the fatherless and to the widows according to all that thou art commanded which thou hast commanded me. I have not transgressed thy commandments neither have I gotten forgotten them. I have not eaten thereof in my mourning neither have I taken away I have taken it away ought therefore for any unclean use nor given ought thereof for the dead but I have hearkened to the voice of the Lord my God and have done accordingly to all that thou hast commanded me look down from thy holy habitation from heaven and bless thy people Israel, and the land which thou hast given us, as thou swearest unto our fathers, a land that floweth with milk and honey. This day, the Lord thy God hath commanded thee to do these statutes and judgments. Thou shalt therefore keep and do them all with all thine heart, and with all thy soul. Thou hast vouched the Lord, thou hast avouched the Lord this day to be thy God and to walk in his way and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and to hearken unto his voice. And the Lord hath avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people as he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all the commandments, and to make thee high above all nations which thou hast made, in praise, and in name, and in honor, and that thou mayest be the holy people unto the Lord thy God, as he hath spoken. Let's lift our hands. Hallelujah. As we thank the Lord for his word, his anointed word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The promises of the Lord are sure. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's going to make us. Hallelujah. A nation above every nation. Hallelujah. He's going to bless us. Hallelujah. He's going to provide for us. It's going to open door for us. God is faithful because we are a peculiar people. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And no. Let the power of 
today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And this morning, we are going to pray that the Lord preserve us. And as you can see that many of us, even our young people, has been distracted and carried away. And somehow the appetite for the house of God has diminished. But we just want to pray and ask God that God would, you know, spark a fire in their heart. Giving them the drive, the desire to be in the house of God. And not only to be in the house of God, but to be active, more active in the house of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a prayer request here. We're going to pray for Minister McFarlane. Praise God. Hallelujah. We don't know his situation at this point in time, but the Lord knows everything. Hallelujah. God has full oh. and complete knowledge of everything that Hallelujah. is happening in our life and everything that is happening among us today. We are going to pray now. You, Eternal and righteous God, we know that you never change, hallelujah, from who you are. We know that there is no other God can be matched with you, Lord, because you are the only one that is able to save, to keep, and to satisfy. Lord, you are the creator of our soul. And everything that we have received, you have blessed us with and have given unto us. Today we come to you, Lord Jesus. Not to say that, Lord, we have done very well before you. But we come to say, Lord, have mercy upon us. And help us and give us more desire in our heart that we may be able to please you the way we are to please you. Lord Jesus, today remember our young people, Lord. The young people, Lord, is the future of the church. We pray that the principles, hallelujah, that you have used to establish the foundation that they will hold fast to it, Lord God, and embrace it. Hallelujah. Father, give them the desire. Give them the drive, Lord Jesus. And not only them only, Lord God, but even also the adult. Because, Lord, as time goes on and everybody get active, Lord Jesus, and getting themselves familiarized with the technology, it seems as if that we are drifting away from those things that would have kept us and preserved us. But Lord Jesus, I pray that you may walk up and down in every home, in every house, and touch every family. Lord Jesus, the parent, I pray that you may spark a fire in your being. Bring them back to the place, Lord Jesus, that they once been, Lord God Almighty. Where they knelt down on their knees and spent hours in your presence, seeking your face. Lord Jesus, fasting and praying. And Lord God, and helping their children to fight the battle on the street, in the school. Hallelujah, in the community. And to pray for their covering, Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, I pray that you may touch everyone that is in the house of God today. Touch those that are on Zoom and Facebook. Because your hands are not too short that you can't reach them. Because God, you are an omnipresent God. You see and you know everything. Lord, you said that your eyes go to and fro in the earth, beholding the evil and the good. Lord Jesus, and so, Lord God, those that are in the hospital, touch them, Lord. Those that are at home feeling sick and may not able to move, Lord God, I pray that you may also touch them. 
Make a change in your body, Lord God, because you see everything that is going on, Lord God. Father, Lord, the house, your house, Lord Jesus, your house, Jesus, your house, Lord. I pray that God, you touch those that have made themselves available to ministers. Those that have made themselves available to be in your presence to worship you. Lord, touch the singers. Touch the choir as they minister to your glory. Touch our bishop, Lord Jesus, as he preach or minister to encourage the hearts of every human being, everybody that is in this place. Lord Jesus, the musician as they play skillfully. And everyone that is in the house of God today, touch them. Even those that are not able to make it. But let them feel the effects and the power of your spirit. Lord Jesus, that is in the sanctuary. Let them feel it, Lord. Because your presence is of such great and is so powerful that they can stay in the same place where they are. And feel your presence and know that something great is going on in the house of God. Today, Lord, take full control of the service. So save those that are here. Lord Jesus, strengthen those that are going through their situation. Strengthen those that are facing challenges. Whether it be financial, relationship. Lord Jesus, parental, parental Lord Jesus. And all that you have seen right before you, Lord. Touch them today. Empower them. Give them the strength. Because you are the inner braces that help them to withstand the outer pressures of life. And so God, continue to guide your steps. Guide your steps, Lord. And Lord Jesus, and let not iniquity have any dominion over them. Father, we ask of you as we ask of you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands and worship the Lord. Let me feel your power, your anointing.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Can we all stand in the presence of the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Can we all stand? Can we all stand in the presence of the Lord as we greet the presence of the Holy Spirit? We greet Bishop and Evangelist Simpson. Bless the name of the Lord. We also greet it. Welcome the ministers, the deacons and their families and the ministers and their families. Hallelujah. You may be seated. To all the visitors in Zoom and on Facebook, we welcome you this morning. This morning, we are just having some reminders that we continue this evening online. Sorry, our all-day fast continues today. So today we'll have all-day fast and we end at 3 o'clock. Today is also our first fruit. Please remember to get your envelope if you have not gotten it as yet. Our saints meeting will be from February 6 to 8. Bless the name of the Lord. Our convocation will be March 31 to, to April 5. And under the theme, a heart that God desires. Bless the name of the Lord. Our thought for today. Unless you try to do something beyond what you have already mastered, you will never grow. Have a blessed, blessed and productive day. Thank you. Let us sing until the power of the Lord come down. Sing until the power of the Lord comes down. Please don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Let us sing until the power of the Lord comes down. Sing until the power of the Lord.
Hallelujah. Come on, I want us to worship. Come on, choir. Join me in worshiping. Hallelujah. Oh, Come we on. love you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. We give Thank God you, the Lord. glory this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I give you the praise. Thank That's you Jesus. unto your name. Hallelujah. Lord God, as I receive your promises this morning, we want to honor you. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Eternal and most righteous Heavenly Father. We thank you for your presence this morning. Lord God, we thank you that we can come in your presence and lift our hands in your presence, God. Because by lifting our hands, oh God, our battles are being fought. We war with our fingers when we clap our hands to you. Oh God, so no matter what the situation is, Oh God, we have met in your presence. And God, you're in the house today. Lord God, we want to thank you. Hallelujah, as you move from bench to bench. As we worship you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the tithes. We thank you for the offering. We thank you, Lord God, for the first fruits that have been collected. Your words are faithful. You are faithful. And God, whatever we brought to you this morning, it determines the rest of the year. So we present this morning the baskets to you. Lord God, we pray that it will be used to your glory and your honor. Bless your people in a magnificent way. My God, as you promised the children of Israel, you heard their cry. Hallelujah. You delivered them. You gave them land. You gave them houses they didn't build, wells. My God, and you provided for them. You are their God, and today you are our God. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for knowledge. And God, this morning, we thank you because you're going to enlarge our territory. Bless us as we say thanks in Jesus' name. And let the church say in Jesus' name. Let's lift our hands in honor to the Lord. Hallelujah. As we say in Jesus' name. Let's clap our hands unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's call him by his name. One, two. Come on. Everybody. One, two. Let's call him by his name again. One, two. Hallelujah. One, two. Oh, praise God. Praise God. You may be
Thank you. His Grace, Bishop Harry Simpson, receive the congregation. The Lord, everybody. Praise God. Come, let us worship the Lord. Let's give him the praise. Praise God. Let us take the focus off ourselves and give the Lord the praise. Can somebody give Jesus what's due unto him? Praise God. Hallelujah. Is there anybody who understand that we need to worship him? Oh, give my God the glory. Give my God the praise. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's just love the Lord. Can somebody give Jesus the praise? Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. I love the song. Worship Him. Give my God the glory. Give my God the praise. I just feel like glorifying Jesus some more. Someone said, It is to you. I give the glory. It is to you. I give the praise for you have done so, so much, much for me, me. And, and I, I will magnify your name. It is to you, Holy Father, no one else like you.
Praise the Lord. Could you just um, turn your Bibles to the book Matthew chapter 5. We're going to be reading these two verses. We'll read verse 13 and 14. Praise God. Or could extend it to verse 16. So Matthew 5, it says, in interest of time, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt hath lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Lord, we honor you today. Thank you for your presence that we fill this place. We thank you, God, that it has not been through your help. None of us would be here standing. We would have been worthless and useless. But because of your love and your guidance and your presence in our lives, that's why we are something. God, there are persons who are not yet baptized or filled with the Holy Ghost. But God, they are hungry. And there are others, Lord, that might not be hungry, but you can stimulate, Lord God, their thirst for you, I pray today. Because truly without you, we are nothing. So ask for your anointing, and I pray that you'll give us effectual air so we hear, not just with our physical air, but spiritually we hear what you want to say to us today. We look to you, Lord. Thank you for hearing us. Let everybody say in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Stretch across and greet someone and I'm glad you are here. Greet somebody behind you. Greet somebody before you. Praise God. Praise God. Don't wait on somebody to come and greet you. Just reach across and greet someone. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I hope you greet the person with a smile. Praise God. Praise the Lord. We have to train the children that they need to reach across and to reach and to greet each other. Amen. If you can't find the friendship in church, where are you going to find it? Can somebody give the Lord a praise? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Last week, I mentioned, I started talking about the Holy Spirit, and I did ask the question, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? Praise God. I think we have not spoken over a long period. The church world is not talking enough about the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. We need to be talking, eating, dreaming the Holy Spirit. Amen, church? Let us focus on Jesus now. Tell the person to focus on Jesus. Amen. It is important. And if you notice, I'll just zero in on verse 14 says, Ye are the light of the world. City that is set upon a hill cannot be hid. Then he said, verse 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works 
and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let the Spirit of God so influence our lives that others will see his influence in our lives and be led to glorify our Father which is in heaven. Amen, church. I'm just paraphrasing it. Praise the Lord. So God's spirit should so influence our lives. And when we are influenced by the Holy Spirit, it should have such an effect on our life that others will see that influence and be led to glorify our Father which is in heaven. Amen. Amen. And this is how we are going to be able to salt the people who are unsalted. Their lives are going to change. Amen, brethren. Praise God. So we are conscious that the Spirit of God is an influencer. God's Spirit influences the life of not just Christians, but the entire earth. Amen, church. Turn to somebody and say, I should be an influence to someone. And in any way, I am influencing someone. Amen. Praise God. But God's spirit in me should be so rich in me that I'm able to influence other persons to want to come to glorify God and want to know him. Can I get a witness? Oh, praise God. Amen, brethren. The word influence, it brings to mind something weird or strange, but the Holy Ghost is very influential in this earth. Oh, we love you, Jesus. An influence means a power that caused an effect by indirectly or in a tangible way. It caused an effect either indirectly or directly, but it is going to cause an effect. For we love you, Jesus. And also, the definition said it means to alter drastically or to change the course of something. To alter drastically or to change the course of something. And now we understand why the church is the salt of the earth. And it can change the course of evil if we allow God's spirit to really at, be at work in our lives. Can I get a witness? You should be an influencer. If you have the Holy Spirit, your life should influence, reason with me, should influence somebody else to glorify God and to change their course of life. Oh, we love you, Lord. Amen. When we look at the life of Jesus, Jesus drastically influenced this world or else we would not have been in here. And Anybody who Jesus has changed since you came in contact with him, put your hand up. Jesus has changed your life since you came in contact with him. Oh Lord, it's just a few persons. Now, the Holy Spirit, many times, oh we love you Lord. Often wait until sometimes you have the most critical moment. Then he show up. Oh, we love your Lord. Anybody has, I'm, I'm not going to be hurrying wherever. I'm going to try to understand the times. But I would like us to get some things in. The Lord said that we should be the light and we should be the salt. We should be influencing people. So that they want to come to know God. 
but we can't do it of ourselves unless we have the Holy Spirit. Amen, church? Amen? I'm repeating, but I want us to understand that I am an influencer. With the presence of God, I should be able to help to change individuals' lives. Now, God has a way. His spirit appear or to, to intervene when sometimes when a situation is seemingly beyond. And many times why he does that is that he would be more appreciated and people will recognize that, that it is had it not been for him the situation would not have changed anybody has ever been there oh hallelujah oh we love you jesus many of us would have been underneath the earth already because some sicknesses and some situation has faced our lives had not god intervened in that situation and changed the course of nature we would not have been here can somebody praise the lord is there anybody who have had such a testimony this morning or this afternoon amen and you can give god glory for it the songwriter said if it had not been for the Lord on my side, can somebody help me here? I'm talking about an influencer. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, come on, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? Hallelujah. He kept my enemies away. He gave me sunshine in a cloudy day. Oh, we love you, Lord. And so I want to thank him. He is an influencer. Amen. And so having given to us the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And that's why you can see last week when I asked the question, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Because once you have the Holy Ghost, you're going to influence somebody's life. Something is going to change in your life. Can I get a witness? And nobody has to tell you to lift a hand and praise him. Because something in your innermost being would have been influenced. And you understand that it had not been for Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. And so we glorify you. And so even though Jesus did tremendous work, our, he had told his disciples, listen, they were going to benefit from him going away. I want us to understand because as a man and in a human body come on he was limited can I get a witness but having shed that human body and he ascended come on he gave us he came back and same spirit came back and he has placed himself in the church so that we now can influence the world come on Amen. So if people out there want to know how to worship, they should be able to look at a Holy Ghost filled person and understand how to worship. If they want to understand what miracle is, come on. If they want to understand the true effects of the power of Almighty God, come on. The unsaved should be able to look at we who are filled with the Holy Ghost and understand. And when they see what God is doing in you and in in me they are going to be led to glorify Jesus Christ that's why we can't keep our mouths closed that's why we can't shut up our bowels we have to allow the presence of God in our lives to so work that others will be able to see Jesus and be glorified and glorify him and take their minds off other idols. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Jesus. So Jesus had said, Nevertheless, it is expedient that I go. 
Because he wants to be an effective witness. And he wants to let us understand as church brethren who have packed with the spirit to understand that there are some works that he never performed yet that you and I can perform while we are here on earth. Oh, I just want to praise the Lord. He said, it is expedient that I should go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come to you but if I depart I'm going to send him expedient means it is profitable that I go very advantageous that I go why would it be better because guess what I said that in his human body he was limited but having shed it And came into the church on the day of Pentecost. We who are now filled, we can achieve exploits for Jesus. And the world should be able to look through us and look at us and understand the glory of Almighty God. Come on, church. Why we have so many people that are confused and they don't know their head from their feet. They don't know what to do. It is many times because we who are supposed to have the spirit of Almighty God is not allowing the Holy Ghost to influence our lives in such a way so that they can see God. When a person sees how God heal your body, Deal with the cancer in your situation. Open a door that they know that is only God. Open it. You don't have to open your mouth and say much to them to serve the Lord. They are going to want to come to know the God that you serve. Can I get a witness? Amen. And the reason why so many idols are trying to take the place of God is because the people of God is not allowing the Holy Ghost to influence their lives in such a way that they will be able to see God. But I want the world to see Jesus in me. I want the world to understand the power and the influence of the Holy Ghost in me. So I want to ask you, did you get the Holy Ghost in at all? Ask the person. Amen, church. Amen, church. What type of influence do you have? Oh, we love you, Jesus. Can somebody give the Lord a praise? Brethren, God is able to change any situation. Tell somebody. I'm talking about influence. The Lord said, you are the salt. Come on, you are the salt. Come on. Salt changed situation without the salt being changed by itself. Amen. It's a catalyst. It is able to get into a situation. Get into the meat. Come on. Preserve the meat. Give taste to the meat. But at the same time, it remains salt. Can I get a witness? That holy ghost that come into your body. That holy ghost ghost that come into your body it's able to deal with every situation without come on be changed I don't know what situation you bring inside here this morning come on you might be up yesterday and down today but can I tell you Jesus Christ that Holy Ghost that you have and if you don't have the Holy Ghost you can get him today he can change the situation no matter how much demon at your house how much problem in the marriage come on church of the living God how much problem you are encountering tell somebody he can change it he can change it reach over to somebody is there anybody in here with the Holy Ghost Where you come at church for? Why did you come here? Come on. The influencer is here. And when you start to praise him, there's going to be a change in the atmosphere. And you lock up them out of the devil. And then you're going to find things going to happen. Can somebody praise the Lord? I walk in here today with victory in my spirit. It doesn't matter what is happening. The influencer is here. Can somebody praise the Lord? 
I feel healing in my spirit. I feel victory in my spirit. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, reach over to somebody and tell them the influencer is here. Do you feel him? I'm sure the salt, the meat feel the salt. I am sure that somehow the meat will feel the salt. Come on. But I can tell you, it, even if it was decaying, it's going to change it. Can I get a witness? Ask the person, where is your influencer? Sometimes they sit on beside somebody in the church and you don't know if them have the Holy Ghost or not. This is a Holy Ghost church. I want you to help me. Come on, the preaching might not be the one that you probably wanted, but this is the one that God has given to me. I want to let you know that the influencer is here. We need to talk about the Holy Ghost a lot. We need to praise him. We need to magnify him. Can somebody praise the Lord? Stretch across, and you don't have to be waiting to reach up to the altar to get the Holy Ghost. The influencer is here. I feel something apart in my spirit. Come on, he can change your situation. Because every one of us have a situation, every one of us have a condition, and sometimes I hear that we are getting out of it, are coming out of it. Come on, I know you are trying to come out of it, but all you have to do, come on, is to plug into the influencer, he's gonna help you. Oh, we love you, Jesus, and somebody just praise him. Oh, let somebody just praise him. Oh, praise God. Tell the person the Lord can change your situation. You have walked in here with it. You don't have to walk out with it. Amen, church. Amen. And it is the will of the enemy to always shut down the anointing. So Jesus, you know why you cry out? Sister Carol, you know why you shout that hallelujah? Because when you shout that hallelujah, something change. And it's going to create an atmosphere that is going to deal with the enemy. And you're going to find, I want somebody to understand, that somebody else in the bench is going to get a connection. Come on. And some situation. Come on. So I'm going to say, no, but I hope you push your pushing on up. He's going to tell you, don't open your mouth and praise God. Shut your eye. You don't have to look at anyone. But you're gonna, you know what to come here for. You come here to take it. And you're not going to left it. And the influencer is here. Tell somebody the influencer is here. And anywhere the devil is lurking. Come on and Jesus get a hold. Something is going to change. It no matter what you have in your body. It no matter what the situation is. The influencer is here. Tell somebody the influencer is here. He's changing it. Tell somebody he's changing it. He's changing it. And if I can't feel the agreement with you, I'm going to get up from beside you. Because I'm making sure. Come on. That I'm going to be influenced by the power of Almighty God. Come on, church. See, that should be uncomfortable in an apostolic church. He should be very uncomfortable. He should not sit in here and be able to run straight over God's people. He should be uncomfortable. But somebody have to open their belly and praise God. Somebody have to change the atmosphere by praising so the influencer can do his work. Stop, shut up the Holy Ghost. Stop, shut up the Holy Ghost with your pride. Stop, shut up the Holy Ghost. Lift your heart. 
start preaching. Lift your hand and praise God. It's tired of the dry. Then come on. Oh. I want to tell you something. Please understand that the Holy Ghost no matter how individuals try to shut him up they will not have their way. And if you think a lie and the enemy wants to use you to shut it up. I want you to try and resist him and see what happens. I feel liberty inside here. The Holy Ghost always orchestrate change. He might change you. He will change you without himself being changed. It wasn't I and you who create the church. Tell somebody who create this church. He said, up on this rock, I'm going to build it. And what he said next, the gates of hell. And that means the government of hell. And if hell gate can't do it, the belly of hell can't do it. Come on. They have to pop off the gate to get to the belly. And God said, the gate cannot. I don't, don't matter what the devil is doing with your family. I tell you something. When the influencer get on the job, there's going to be a change. Oh, somebody help me here. Somebody help me here. God will orchestrate change. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Can somebody praise him? I'd like, the scripture said in Genesis 1, verse 2, the Bible said, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face on the face of the deep understand notice the condition it was without form mean it lie in ruin it was without form church means it lie in ruin oh we love you lord what a god it was worthless it was empty in utter chaos when something no have no form it is in ruin worthless amen church in chaos oh we love you Jesus empty because void means empty it is it was almost undescribable ruin you couldn't distinguish it the scripture said that is how the earth was oh we love you Jesus Darkness means more than the darkness we are familiar with. It means to bring misery and death. Misery. That's why I know God can change this earth and change this world. Can I get a witness? No form. Empty. 
void, worthless. Oh, we love you, Lord. So when the world was in such an utter worthlessness, very chaotic, miserable condition, any one of us have ever been there? Any one of us have ever been there? When the situation was like that, God was setting up for a miracle. Can I get a witness? God was just setting up for a miracle. I don't know what your condition is. Tell somebody that I don't know you what your condition is, but God is setting you up for a miracle. God is setting you up for a miracle. Come on, you don't have the Holy Ghost and you're without family, worthless, you feel nothing not happening. Tell them God has set you up to feel you. Come on. Come on, you have a situation where doctors say you're all over and it cannot be done. Tell them God has set you up for a miracle. Can I get a weakness? Come on. Come on. You have this situation and you talk about it. Are you dealing with it? Come on. The condition. Come on. Seem like it is not going to work out it is come on you can't touch it you don't understand it it is chaotic then somebody God is setting you up he's setting you up reach to somebody and tell them God oh, and you know why someone will not get come on reach a hand and tell them that God has set you up In the name of Jesus, tell the person that it is not a setback, it is a setup. Tell them it is not a setback, it is a setup. Tell them it's not a setback. Sometimes we have those conditions, and your feel says a setback. Tell them, ah, uh -uh, it's not a setback, it is a setup. Tell the person it's a setup. It depends on how I see it. It's not a setback, and that's I have to learn to praise God. You have you have to learn I'm talking about the influencer 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 it is just a setback come on it's just a setback because God Almighty is just a setting up he's setting up to bless you now look at the situation look at the influencer now look at this condition look at the influencer What condition you carry coming here this morning, tonight, this today? What is it? What is it? Come on. You don't know the God that we are talking about. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the earth, change it not. Neither is weary. There's no searching. Of his understanding, he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. Tell somebody is not a setback. Tell somebody is not a setback. Is a set of holy sister tell her. He giveth power to the faint. To them that has no might, he increased strength. Even the youth shall faint. And the young man, but tell the person, wait. No, write me off yet. Nobody write me off yet. No, look by my condition and write me off yet. He cannot write me off yet. It is just a <laughs> It is just a setup. It's a setup. We got the influence, the Holy Ghost, the power from heaven. He's gonna change it. He's gonna change it. Tell somebody he's gonna change it. He's gonna change it. Tell somebody he's gonna change it. Reach over and tell him he is changing it. Reach over somebody and tell he's changing it. What's wrong with you? Tell me to pull up right. Move to somebody and tell them. Reach out for their hand and tell them. Go down in the congregation and tell them. A 
Sister Jane, Sister Carol, Sister Santa, Brother Brown, whatever you have, Come on, make sure I get back on the seat. Tell them that God going to change it, God is going to change it. Now come on. Sister Jane, Sister Carol, Sister Santa, Brother Brown, See the Holy Ghost come down on somebody. The influence has come on. We're going to talk a lot about Holy Ghost in this church in the wind here. We're going to talk about it. Some of us want to sit down or shut up the mouth. You're not going to shut me up. I'm going to talk about the influence. I'm going to talk. Because I don't have anybody else. He's God Almighty. He's the King Eternal. He's the Immortal. He's the Invisible. The only wise God. Have thou not know him? God can change it. He must change it. I want God to make these seats so hot in this church. Come on. Come on. Holy Ghost. Just wait. Your feather like an eagle will soon drop off. Come on. Shall mount up. Come on. He's going to give you the strength that is necessary. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the influence of the Holy Ghost. Are you salt or what? Do you have just whiteness and no saltness? We can have just a lot of whiteness, but no salt. No saltness, no substance in us. Mm -hmm. No savor. Sit down a little bit. So sit down a little bit. Shut you over to somebody and ask them, come on. Uh -huh. Do you have the influencing power of God in your life? So why, we, why, why is it we complain so much? Why is it then we doubt so much? Tell the person if God can do it, nobody can do it. No matter who. If God can fix it, if God can fix it, nobody else can fix it. Can I get a witness? Come on, my brother. Tell him. Reach over to somebody and say, if God can fix it. Because he's the changer. If God can fix it, brethren, I don't serve a flip flop God, you know, because I see the spirit. He's consistent. And he said, if I don't go, not meaning as another person coming, but he's going to show more of his power when he infilled the people. And brethren, you see, from my know that Jesus is in this church, me not have no me not have no time I look nowhere else. I know him and all power is given to to the church. So the Bible tells us. And I know that I have to always go, we're cutting it. But listen, 
God is an architect. You never know. He's an architect. Can somebody praise him? You would be able to look at a piece of land with a lot of trees and say, uh uh, pure stone, pure tree, nothing can come out of it. But an architect who is trained and has a vision, tell somebody, vision whose mind is equipped and is in sync with the mind of Almighty God. And sometimes they don't even know God, you know, sir. But they are trained. They come and stand up outside and you stand up <laughs> beside them and you as a tall tree and stone and they are seeing a whole lot of three bedroom houses and high rise buildings. Can I get a witness? Come on church, amen. That's why you have to know who you really let influence your life. Can somebody get a, you have to know who influence your life. Amen church, amen, amen. Because when you sit with someone who don't understand it, They probably will say, oh, what the person I go on with? But because you have an architectural mind, you say, this is where the action is. Can I get a witness and things are going to happen? Come on, amen, church. And this is exactly what is going to happen. You can see what the presence of God will do. So the earth was had nothing when you look at it. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Worthless, chaotic. The Bible said, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Put it up there, sis. The spirit. And that's why I'm telling you, brethren. You know, say it not, shouldn't take, it don't take anything for real away from a, once a person repent of their sins. It shouldn't take anything for them to receive the Holy Ghost, you know. Are they mine? You think you have to come and say, ball out, ball out, Jesus, give me God, damn you. No. Just believe him. Because he's a changer. And he wants to fill you more than how you want the Holy Ghost. Can I get a witness? The Bible said that that chaotic situation that existed. The Bible said the spirit of God moved. And the word move. What time? The, the word moved means to hover over. To bring warmth as a mother hen sits upon her nest. This warmth awakened the life inside the egg and stir its desire to break forth. Did you hear me? And I had planned, you know, Sister Lana, to have and to have some eggs, you know. Because I like to demonstrate. God shows in the natural. The egg is laid and the hen has something built in her. Amen, sir? And she just hover over the egg. Who tell the hen say that can happen? After she finished laying her two or four or ten. Something in the hen. What a marvelous God. The hen had not gone to school. I'll read the Bible. Sister Lonnet. 
I never hear about a hen reading the Bible. Come on, church. You see how you see how unbelief can kill we. I have never met a hen school or any university that said that hen can apply. Amen, church. Come on. No Monday morning you see the hens walking and going out to Jonathan Grant to be registered. The hen just lay the egg. And after a certain time, you hear she a cluck, cluck, cluck. Something kicking. Can I get a witness? And she goes over the egg. Oh, I am. I'm talking about the wonders of God. She go over the egg. Come on. Come on, church. Oh, glory to God. And she hovers over the egg. And after a time, the heat, something in the egg had a desire. It stimulated life. Jesus. Inside of the egg. Yeah, I am. And after 28 days, you just notice, sometimes we don't even notice it. She ran in and out. And she ran in and out. But after 28 days, what do you see coming? She never got a hen school. And can I tell you too, that after 28 or 29 days, that she know hear something. She don't hear something, Brother Jace. I've seen it with the birds. They take 20, probably 28 days too. And all of a sudden I see them fly off and I said, but I, I notice I don't see. I notice they're staying outside now. And I look and I notice the eggs are inside. Who tell them? And when you crack those eggs, they stink. But you can watch them and you know when you see them. can hardly eat it come out to eat and they rush back and if you watch them carefully you see they put their ear to the egg nature teach me and the sense that there is life in here oh hallelujah is the same spirit of when the earth now have no farm and nothing. It brood over the water. Oh, let's glorify Jesus. And the warmth of life awakes the life inside. The water having moved over the face. The Bible said, let Oh, the egg are come. I tell you, these people have everything at church. <laughs> you can find the egg. <laughs> My God. See the egg, they come, my brother, hold them. Then I'm going to hatch up here. Stand up right there, sister. But they can see it. These eggs can be eaten. But if you put them in a nest or in a hatchery where heat is applied. Amen, church. She find a nest. You know these people not easy. So it's oh, deacon girl set on the egg now. Church. My brother, you might not have all of them put there. My them. But I want to sh brethren. To the natural person, it's just eggs. But to the hen, what do you see inside there? Life. Amen, church. When a saint is connected to the spirit of God, 
they see the impossibilities. Can I get a witness? And somebody praise the Lord. When I say it, it's come, you see what God can do. Come on, with your situation that is even dead, God can resurrect it. Can I get a witness? Can somebody give the Lord a praise? Come on, a situation. Come on, tell somebody God can resurrect the dead situation. Come on, come on, stretch across and hold somebody on and tell them God can resurrect your dead situation. God can change. It. As you are stretching your hand, turn the brother holding the brother hand. God can you have to tell the hen? The hen knows that after 28 days, if I just stay over it long enough, something is gonna happen. So if I praise God long enough. If I give him two prayers in the morning, four prayers in the day, six prayers in the evening, God is going to change things. Tell somebody, he's going to change it. I am not giving up. Tell somebody, I'm going to press it. I'm going to press it. I'm going to press it. Tell the person to give up, press it. Tell the person to give up, press it. Tell the person something is going to come out. God, life is in it. Where is your Holy Ghost? Where is your influencer? He's an architect. The Bible said, change it. Go to verse 3. Come on. Lord, I want to finish. You're having a problem with it? And God said, Let there be. Oh, we love you, Jesus. And there was light. And God saw that the light, that it was good. Divide the light and so forth. But God then decided to call the dry land. Bring it up out of the water as if Who did know? Say it was down there. But because warmth, get over it. Amen, church. You see how coldness is deadness? Tell a person, coldness a deadness. If you have the Holy Ghost and, and when the Holy Ghost hover over the church, you can feel nothing. The eggs stink. Church no beat me. We all know after 28 days. You're not going to want to hold it. Can you now understand why some of us life is so carnal and stink and people don't want to know God where we talk about? I'm talking about let your light so shine. Because they can't see the possibilities of Jesus. Yes, yeah, sometimes when I talk like this, brethren, it might seem hard, but other word, when you not kill me. If the hen no say, nobody waste no time after 28 days. Left that one and go wait until you can, you can get new one. Can I get a witness, church? Can I get a witness? Until you can go, go lay again. Tell, come on, church. And that's why I love repentance. Can somebody praise God? Come on, no matter what your condition is, you can be renewed again. Can I get a witness? If you know, come on. So you come last year and it's only one praise. Yeah, praise and you're still a rock and nothing now go on for you. Come on. You realize that your nest now hatch. What should you do? Come on. You are going to make sure that you do something. Come on. Now you are in a new year. Can I get a weakness? Something I have to go on for you. I 
ask somebody the same old leg you have? You notice that warmth has to be applied. Heat of it go on it. And I can't go into all the influence of prayer, but heat has to be a part of it. How are you going to generate the heat? Fold your arm and you generate the heat. Friction the heat. Can I get a witness? Somebody who do drug it. No, no, no. You, you do physics. Anybody do chemistry in here? Anybody do physics in here? Come on, heat generate it. So when you say praise God, when you say hallelujah, something is going to happen. Something. We have to create the heat. We have to create the heat. When you praise God, the blessings come down. Create the heat, deadness, deadness, no work. Sit down with it. Sit down with it. You're going to be looking for four chicken, and you're not getting none. And you're looking for blessing. You're going to look for four chicken, and you don't get none. Where is your prayers? Where is it? You have Holy Ghost in your belly. God respond to prayers all the time. Tell somebody all the time. So the Bible said, the Lord said, let there be. And there was How long God a talk let there be in your life? How long God is talking let there be in your life? And you passed 29 days. You passed January and February and you're still sitting on the egg. And it now has you know. Go learn from the fowl. Learn from the hand. Yellow shanda la bosata. That something have it happen. Come on, I want more heat. I'm gonna praise God. This year I'm gonna magnify him. Go get a lesson from the hand. You want healing in your body. The possibilities are there. Sister, carry something that me crack the egg. Comes. Some doubtful Thomas, I still have to go stop. Mike say, the egg not good already. Because this is how Satan interrupt, you know. So we want to crack it to show you, say it good. Yes, Jesus, you can come crack it. I just want something to crack it in. Mm -hmm. No, we, can, we have to make sure we're going to crack it in or something. Yes, Minister, you crack it. You crack it. So, people see, say good. Stop blaming the egg. Your sister good? See that good? The possibility is there for it to get a chicken. Can I get a witness? But some heat is after. You know how many of them inside? All There has to be some heat. You are looking for chicken last year. You look. I feel my God Almighty. You're looking for it last year. You're looking for it. You're looking for it. You cannot get it at all. You're looking because you see now. Earth 
it was without form and void. Words catch it. You think I'm more energy me have not I anybody else? But me know what God did for me. And I know when he can't do for me. I know what can stop them out of the devil. Stop them out of lion. I know when the devil is trying to make up hell and high water for my family. I know what to stop it. Me have to create the heat. Me have to create the heat. Because I don't come here for waste time. The hell no, the hell no go over to waste time. Sometimes we take our cues from others. I don't know your situation. But after 28 years, that chicken me want. And me no want one chicken neither. But the blessings of the Lord make it rich. Can I get a witness? And I'm coming after your egg because I know them good. Come on. And I'm going to praise God. There's some potentials in your belly. There's some potentials in your belly. There's some gifts God has given to you. And you sit down and you just clap your hand. But if you start to burst forth and start to praise God and start to magnify God, God is going to block the enemy that is coming to your house. You don't need nobody, God, but Holy Ghost. Come on, church. It's the Holy Ghost that does it. Even if they're there, they're not the one who protects. Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Church, the eggs has a season. Lord Jesus, may I have to stop. Mm hmm. I'll come back at it another time. But the warm sir, as I said, awake. I'm going to give you another word. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2. Here, here, here. I said that it awake the life inside. Ephesians 2. To chapter one, two, um, two, and we, the Bible said, and you hath he what? That is the other word, quicken. Quicken. Who were what? Who were dead? in trespasses and sin this egg just remain by itself for too too long outside sister carol what go up and do it i got dead it is going to stink too it's going to rot that's when I heard people, oh, I'm atheist, I can't do it without God. They are rotten. Them rotten. You see, if we never come in here, praise God, and I magnify God with our dead, rotten type of carnality. Because church, face it. If we never know God, we would have to do some fighting and some name it. We would be very rotten. Can I get a witness? But there's something about God. Can I get a witness? Oh, I have to stop. Can I get a witness? Tell somebody God change me. So here, the Bible said, come on. That spirit move. It means it's quicken. Gives life to its sis. It brings the the life to the surface. 
And when life comes, church, movement is a must. Tell the person, movement is a must. That's why I know that some person who were once feel them dead. Mm. Because you can't sing I'm dead, you know. Who no help me here, church? Let me sing as them alone. Can't preach I'm dead, you can't still dead. Can I get a witness? You see something named foolish pride? The egg can say. You know, stand me 28 days. And after 26, 27, and the Lord, or whatever, come out for me. Because sometimes when the Holy Ghost get one us in the church, you know, somebody say, feel, where pastor know my business from? You don't know your business. Go blame Holy Ghost. But God want to get out the deadness out of you. Can I get a witness? I want you to open your mouth and learn to praise him. Come on, can I get a witness? Because I feel that God wants to change some situation. Some people in here, the house is taken over with demons. Lord help me, my brother. condition sir and all God want is for you to just be different one Sunday morning and say that dead situation going to change and I don't business who in church one person not going to hold you I won't hold you you could have run around the church whole day because I deserve so something has to change I need some heat to change my condition. Can I get a witness? Come on. So the Bible tells us that when the Spirit of God move over it. There was a change. If. Your life and my life. Having passed through the process, being filled with the Holy Ghost, sir. Huh? Having repented and filled, go stop. And when you pass through the process, you don't access the warmth that you should access. Because God will not force anyone. You see, a stubborn spirit is a devilish spirit. I need somebody to help me here. A stubborn spirit. Brother, a stubborn spirit is a devilish spirit. Come on. Point to yourself and say, if you're stubborn, stop it. Stop looking on the sister over there. A stubborn spirit is a witchcraft spirit, tell somebody. I want somebody to understand me. Come on. You see, after passing through the process of the 28 days, and you don't get the change, Tell the person that a change has come. And I get a witness. One way or the other, can somebody help me here? So you see us, all of us sit down in the church like this? A, ch a change must come. It's, that's why I don't, I'm not looking at you, Minister Raymond, I'm looking at the other brother, because guess what? A change must come. Go try it, no, Bridget. Go home, go try it. If I lie, Pastor, tell So if the word not changing us, my sister, for the better, a change is going to come. It's only that when that change comes, we don't like it. Because 
the spirit of God. You think we're going to be down here all the time? You think we're going to be in here all the time? We fool ourselves. We're not going to be here all the time. And the changes, you see the spirit over the church, the changes is taking place. After 28 days, you know, I smell it. That's why you mustn't resist. If, that's why we must not resist. If the egg resists the period of time that the hen is on it, it's on its own after 28 days. I'm talking about period of time. Church, it's on its own after 28 days. And you say to yourself, why is it that these two hatch and this one and this one never hatch? Because from how I know how the hens operate, they try to get all the eggs under. And even when one is out, it try to pull it in. Can I get a witness, church? And that's why we have fasting, we have prayer, we have no everything in the church, we have everything to pull the person in. But you don't come on. You don't get applied. So guess what? You are out. When the heat is being applied, what you do? You out. The Lord could just feel your sister and rapture you. He could just feel you and take the church home. You know this what I'm do? It's over 2,000 years. And the Holy Ghost are brood. And the preaching going on. And the presence of the Lord are interact. And the Holy Ghost are brood. That's, let me take Jesus. I have to go home. I don't see where one egg I look on the next egg and say, what can I have to wear? What you call her? If the, all of them are egg white or, 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 or brown. When I come here to worship God, you think I go sit down beside you who is so critical? I hate me want. Tell somebody I hate you want. I hate you want. I watch you know. And some bridging you are going to lose your way because... You're not getting enough heat. You're not getting enough heat. Because you see the sister hot over there and you don't like it, not hack it. And you see the next brother and you see everything. And the next thing, you sit up with your pride self and you don't understand. I would have tried to move and get enough heat. Tell somebody, I have to, come on. I have to praise God for myself. I want enough heat. Because it is lack of heat. Why? Many times the eggs spoil. So Sister David, you sit down with somebody and, and, and somebody up there say, praise the Lord. Hold the person you have them praise and start to praise God. Say, come on, the two of us. We want it. You know, sit down and um, a Sister Carol and you know her husband and you know a beacon wife, and you know, and you're not getting enough heat. I'm not telling like, can I get a witness? And when the time comes for you to hatch, all the possibilities, all of the, all of the anointing God put down in the church, and all of the, that, 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 quality that must be coming out character and otherwise uh, and gift you cannot produce and Jess I'm encouraging you to stay inside of the nest Jess stay in the nest and anybody want to take you out of it <laughs> tell them I want the heat Because if you drop out, you can stay home 
Church is important. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get into any of the program. It's the possibilities in all of them. They have what the spirit will quicken. But you're not getting enough heat. And that's why God said we must not forsake. Because my brother, the egg must change. And it, sir, it is, its character is that it must hatch. Don't it must hatch? Because the Holy Ghost is given to profit. Lord Jesus, I'm done now. But when it not hatch, it stinks. And I've been in church a long time. That sometimes you see an egg come, you have to run. Let's come down here and have a little prayer. A change has taken place, but can we just come down and have a little prayer? I know I keep you long. I'm going to come back to something else. If your life is not producing, you are still in the place where you have to examine yourself, church. He is here. Hallelujah. We will have a break afterwards and then we come back. It's all day fast and we will go until 3 o'clock. For those who uh, will stay, those who have to go, I understand. Uh, let's, we will have a break. But just come. I'll pray. And, uh, you know, some person will just take a little time and then we'll come back. For those who were not prepared, you can make some sacrifice. He is here. Hallelujah. Find a place and talk to God. He is here. There are places you can kneel and just talk. I need the heat, God. My life must influence somebody. Yes, hey, holy, holy, I will bless his name again. If you can find a place to pray, yes, hey, whatever Holy Ghost doing in your life. All over the place, you, you can touch, touch him. him. Come on, you, you will never be the same. same. Yeah. Oh. 
worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Let's just love the Lord. Thank you, Lord. 